Tuck into a blanket warmer than the bucket of popcorn you should be snacking on. It's time for a bedtime tale of Pulp Fiction. Our fiction begins with the honey bunny and a pumpkin. Wait, wrong! Better. Aren't they a match made in cooties? While indulging in breakfast out, they realized they had no money to pay. Pumpkin had the idea to ask the nice people up to help in their financial embarrassment. But who will help them, children? Vincent and Jules work for Mr. Wallace. You'll meet him later. The two of them were a regular dynamic duo of duties. This particular job took them to see Brett. Hey, check out the brains on Brett. He had cheeseburgers. They love cheeseburgers. What a glorious night for Mia and Vincent. There's dancing, jokes about tomatoes, and milkshakes of the highest value. Looks like Mia's had a bit too much um, milkshake and developed rapid brain freeze. Quick, Vincent, use that gigantic monstrous needle. Ah, all better. Elsewhile, Butch has to get his father's butt flush back because Frenchie here forgot it. Hey, is that Vincent? No, Vincent! This is escalating quickly, children. Butch and Mr. Wallace are trapped by Zed and his uh, special friend. Butch is in real danger of being forced to play a leapfrog. Butch hates leapfrog. Luckily, we have some weapons. Yeah, Zed's dead. Looks like Butch and Mr. Wallace are now BBFEs. Best buds for fudging ever. Whoa, Jules and Vincent have made quite the mess with their milkshakes. Thankfully, Mr. Wolf is here to teach us the moral pulp fiction. Wet hands aren't clean hands. And that concludes, uh, oh, uh, and, and remember these guys, they're cool now, I like the phones because of, uh, I, I don't know, Jules.